Hi, I'm Jenny and I'm a Teen Services Librarian at the Pruder River Public Library District. And I'm here to present our study tip for this week, How to Survive Virtual School. And I'm here to present our study tip for this week, How to Survive Virtual School. We actually have five tips for how to do just that. So let's get started. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I need to go all the way back. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Jenny, and I'm a teen services librarian at the Pruder River Public Library District, and I'm here to present our study tip for this week, how to survive virtual school. We actually have five tips for how to do just that, so let's get started. Tip number one. Make use of your resources. This includes not just books and videos, but especially the people around you. Your teachers and counselors are there to help. Make sure to email them or set up appointments to talk, not just if you absolutely need to, but if you think it might help. Your parents are there to help too. Let them know what you are struggling with and ask them for advice. We librarians are here to help as well. Both your school media specialists and public librarians like me. In fact, if you go to the Pooter Library's train page once you're done watching this video, you'll find more information about these tips, including links to the experts we got them from, and solutions for some of the problems that make these tips difficult to follow through with. Tip number two, take charge of your own learning. You aren't a little kid anymore. This doesn't just mean you have more homework, it also means more responsibility, but also more opportunity. This is the time to start learning how you learn best. Pay attention to what helps and hurts your studies and talk to your parents about creating a plan that works for you. One simple way you can do this is by checking out all the resources on our tween page and the other videos in our study tip series. Tip number three. Make it easy to focus on the right things. Eliminate things that might distract you as much as you can and use a calendar or planner or something like it to keep track of everything so that an assignment for one class doesn't get forgotten because you were working on an assignment for another. And it doesn't need to be fancy. It can just be a bullet journal made from regular notebook paper. Remember too that transitions are an important part of getting ourselves ready for new tasks. When you go to in-person school, there's a whole routine you have of getting dressed, eating breakfast, getting on the bus or in the car, etc. And so when you get to school, there's even more routines, and you have a desk all to yourself. You don't have that routine with virtual school, and you may not have room in your home for an established space just for your schoolwork. But no matter how chaotic everything is at home, you can probably create small routines, like taking five deep breaths, or listening to a particular song all the way through, right before you start school. That will help train your brain to be ready for school every time you do them. Tip number four, take breaks. Your brain needs to recharge and your eyes need a break from looking at a screen. Get up and move around, do something creative. Let your mind wander for a few minutes. If you need ideas for what to do, we've got you covered. Every Friday, we have a study breaks to go along with our study tips for tweens. Check them out on the Pruder Library's calendar. Some will be links to craft ideas, some will be virtual programs, and some will be in-person outdoor programs, as long as the weather holds. Tip number five, give everyone a break. School is hard normally, and this is not normal. You, your teachers, your counselors, and your parents, you are all trying your best. Make sure to forgive yourself and others when things are hard or when you make mistakes. We can only try our best. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out this week's study break as well. 